in a world where college basketball is going to experience the same thing that college football has, we at least potentially could have a great matchup to open up the season in Gonzaga versus Kansas. Of course, there's also Auburn and St. John, or St. Joseph's, I think, you know, out there in Fort Myers, or the Fort Myers tip-off. And it's going to be interesting to see how, you know, because Gonzaga will be taking on Kansas and Auburn, and um, Kansas will be taking, obviously, Kansas will be taking on Gonzaga, and they'll be taking on um, St. Joe's. But, um, yeah, really this is all about, you know, Kansas and Gonzaga. You know, the, these are the two ranked teams that are coming in. You know, Gonzaga, one of the picks, one of the trendy picks to win the national championship this year. And, you know, if the season can get off the ground, and it's already chaotic already. There's already been cancellations and postponements already in college basketball. Already. And Auburn isn't even going to play. They're self-imposing a ban on themselves for, you know, the 2020-2021 season. But Kansas, Gonzaga, um, for Gonzaga, I think Drew Timmy is a guy that you need to to look out for and for Kansas it will be David McCormack um, how will Bill Self you know get his guys ready of course you know Kansas all is one of those teams that gets a lot of you know one and done it's, you know one year and you're done go to the NBA kid you know exactly on the other hand Mark Few trying to rally his guys you know there could be a potential of up to maybe like 10 to 11 guys that get on the floor this year because that's how deep Gonzaga is. And Gonzaga has a lot of, a lot of games, a lot of games that are going to look very, very fun coming up. You know, you know, they have Baylor, they have Iowa on the schedule. And of course, you know, non-conference schedules are in flux. You know, we have the, you know, the, uh, the 27 game limit. Of course, with 25 or whatever it is this year, 25 to 27, around that range this year. Because of you know, COVID, so the usual 29 to 31 isn't, isn't going to be it the regular season, at least this year. And, of course, you know some conferences and some teams have already pulled out the season. They're not even going to play like the Ivy League. We talked about that already, of course. And that was about a week or two ago when I made my first college basketball video of the year. So, and it's going to be great to see Gonzaga versus Kansas because I don't know about you. There's a Thanksgiving football game that I do not want to watch. So, I'd say get those eyes on over to Fox and stay over there the entire day pretty much because it's going to be one hell of a day for them. It's going to be one hell of a weekend for Fox you know, they got football up. They got football and basketball all the way until Sunday, you know. But in any case, you know, these two teams, you know, Gonzaga and Kansas are going to have tough seasons. It's going to be tough for both of them. And Gonzaga's non-conference is going to be about as tough as it could get, and Kansas is in the Big 12, so it's going to be about as tough as we can get. And of course, if this game isn't played, it's going to be pretty sad. Of course, you know, if any other games aren't going to get played, you know, I'm going to be sad, and this whole video will be for nothing. But hey, that's just the nature of the beast. Didn't again, the biggest matchup of the first week college basketball is going to be this matchup between Gonzaga and Kansas. I, there's no other there's no other way to slice and dice it. That's just how it is. But yeah, keep your eyes on this game. Of course, you know, there could be changes and everything like that because of COVID. But yeah, gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. And of course, you know, I can't really, again, I can't really say much for Auburn and St. Joe's, um, but keep an eye on those teams, y'all. 
you know somebody who's a fan of Auburn or St. Joe's and their fans, you know, just keep an eye on them. To, to, I don't know, sound off in the comments about it or something like that. I'll see you in the next video later tonight.